Straight ahead, a landmark win for Nevada churches as a circuit court strikes down a cap on religious gatherings that wasn't in place for casinos. Hmm, the pastor behind that fight joins us next. Nevada Church is scoring a major victory in court as the Ninth Circuit strikes down the governor's restrictions on religious gatherings. The court concluding, quote, the directive treats numerous secular activities and entities significantly better than religious worship services. Joining me now, fresh off of their win, Calvary Chapel, Dayton Valley Senior Pastor Gary Least and General Counsel at Alliance Defending Freedom, Kristen Wagoner. Thank you both for joining us today. Uh, Pastor, I want to start with you. How do you feel upon receiving this ruling? You know, we're excited. Uh, we're, we're just uh, extremely pleased to be able to come together to once again worship in person because of the just how vital it is and essential it is to, uh, to families of faith and to the entire community. You know, Kristen, it's really bizarre what was going on in Nevada. I mean, when you think about it, that churches weren't allowed to gather, but people could go to the casino. I mean, I don't really understand a lot of these arbitrary measures. You're right. The right to practice our faith is written into the Constitution, and the right to go to an indoor circus or to play blackjack is not. And the governor of Nevada was essentially picking and choosing the activities he preferred and shutting down essential activities like worship. You know, Pastor, we've been talking a lot today, and, and we've talked about this before, about how businesses, and, and in this respect, a church is very similar, have been going to really extensive measures to protect individuals coming in. You yourself were doing a lot of safety protocol, were you not? And we still do. I mean, we're still going to continue to provide all of the recommended safety, uh, social distancing, wearing of masks, the things that uh, would happen anywhere else in order to be able to keep people safe. Our goal is for people to be able to come together and to be able to worship in a way that's not only safe, but also encourages and brings back hope into the lives of so many right now who are struggling. And Kristen, just a final word on, on the legal message here that it could send out, because we've seen a lot of rulings that are that are bizarre and leave us scratching our heads. But what is the message here that this ruling can send to other states that may be experiencing similar challenges? The First Amendment is not suspended, even during a pandemic, and governors don't get to pick and choose favorites. Religious freedom is essential. It's written into the Constitution, and churches are serving a vital need in our communities. We believe the courts are going to stand and to protect that. It's not only constitutional, but it's harmful to shut down churches who are serving so many in need at this time. I want to thank you both for being here. Uh, Pastor, in particular, congratulate you on this ruling and your ability to get back to doing your job. And, and great on you, good on you for, for taking uh, the safety protocol seriously. Um, I think that's greatly appreciated as well. So thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas.